Steve in Lincoln, England writes to me and he says, Hi Paul, love watching your YouTube podcasts. Thank you, Steve. Uh, do you think it's worth buying vinyl records these days? Uh, now that most of them are mastered digitally? Like most oldies, I have many analog mastered vinyl records, and to me, they sound completely different to modern ones that I've purchased. 40 to 50 year old records that I have sparkle in comparison to the newer ones. Would love your opinion, many thanks, all the best, Steve. Wow, well, it's such an all encompassing question, Steve. There are many, many, many fine vinyl releases today, but to your point, they are getting scarcer and scarcer. One of the reasons that Octave Records, our, our label, uh, will be releasing vinyl that was mastered, recorded, and engineered in digital is because vinyl is such a great medium. But just because ours is done in digital doesn't mean uh, that it sounds digital because the way that we do it, using DSD, sounds even better than what you have in your old analog ones. Why? Well, because DSD, properly done with the right recording equipment, is the next generation to analog. I mean, it sounds so much better than analog tape ever thought of sounding. And where we get confused, not confused, because that, that's, a, that's, a, that's a poor choice of words. Where we get off kilter is today, digital represents this PCM, Pro Tools, home studio crap that passes off as um, good recordings. I was kind of saddened to see that one of my favorite studios, Abbey Road, uses Pro Tools. And look, 99%, Avid is a great, great company. They have, uh, they've just done great things. And, and they make a product called Pro Tools, which is like 99.9 .9 whatever percent of the uh, recording industry uses Pro Tools. It's, it, it is the tool of choice. And in the right hands, it can sound really good. I just worry that those hands, and hopefully the ones at Abbey Road have, have you know, can, can pull it off. I haven't listened to a recording well, but um, I would never have that in Octave Records because PCM, uh, for the most part, and in, in most cases, sounds digital to my ear. DSD, not so much. So, roundabout way, I think buying vinyl is more of a crapshoot today than it used to be, but there are certainly great copies of albums and recordings out there still. You'll find them from Octave Records, you'll find them from any of the labels, and many of the commercial recordings still people care enough to make it sound great, even if it was recorded digitally. So. Um, I know that's not you know, the, the, the black and white answer that you were looking for. Um, one thing I did want to mention, and I've never brought this up before, these speakers, the, these are Arnie Nudell's personal loudspeakers before he passed. And as you know, we, we have, uh, they've, you know, for, for years they were a reference for us. The, these, to say these are a one-of-a-kind speaker is making an understatement. I mean, these were handcrafted by the Arnold, um, and the reason I bring it to your attention, they are the only pair in the world, the family, the Nudell family, wishes to sell these. They want to find the right buyer who is willing to pay what these are worth. I mean, these are probably worth twenty or 30,000 bucks as a system, easy. So uh, I, I haven't even found out from Dave and, and, uh, and the kids you know, what they're looking for out of these speakers, but I will say, that if you are watching this and you're interested and you have some, I mean, look, they're going to be, I don't know, let's call it 30 grand, right? 25, something like that, plus shipping, plus packaging, all that crap. These one-of-a-kind, amazing-sounding loudspeakers that Arnie Dudell personally built and they were his reference system, 
uh, and it comes with all the, the servo amps and all this other stuff that goes with it. Uh, email me, paul at psaudio.com, and, and let me know that you have an interest in, in uh, finding out about uh, hooking up with Arnie's one-of-a-kind speaker. It's, it's a once-in-a-lifetime chance for that right person who, uh, and, and look, the, the, the part of, uh, do I have? No. I mean, part of it's on a, on a wooden block with vacuum tubes coming out. So you get the whole thing, just as Arnie had it. And we'll, we'll help you set it up and all that. But it, it is a real treasure. So if you're interested, uh, email me. Okay? All right. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Thank you.